Hello everyone, this is Jyoti. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about dual tone multifrequency, DTMF. So let's get started. Dual tone multifrequency, DTMF, is a signaling system which is used in landline and mobile telephony to represent the digits uh, like zero to nine, as well as special characters like star or pound. Uh, DTMF also allows the users to interact with phone system and automated services by pressing keys on their phone keypads, enabling features like call routing, menu navigation, and secure access to sensitive information. So that is about the DTMF and the introduction of it. Now, let's talk about the DTMF uh, technology and its history. So about the DTMF history, in 1963, DTMF technology was first developed by Bell Labs uh, as a way to improve the speed and reliability of telephone signaling compared to the older uh, system that is called pulse signaling or pulse dialing system. Then uh, also from 1960s to then uh, later till 1970s, uh, DTMF became the standard for touch tone dialing in the telephone industry, enabling a wide range of new uh, interactive voice applications and services, which was widespread and adopted. Then later in 1980s till present, uh, as technology advanced, DTMF has been incorporated into modern telecommunication system, including mobile phones, voice over IP, and uh, interactive voice response, IVR systems, solidifying its position as crucial component of the modern uh, telephony. So that is about the history of DTMF. Then about how DTMF works. So DTMF main functions or how it works are three majorly dual tone generation, tone decoding, and standardized frequencies. So starting with dual tone generation, uh, when a DTMF key is pressed, the phone generates a quick combination of two pure tone frequencies, one from a low frequency group and one from a high frequency group. And this dual tone signal is then transmitted over the telephone network. That is dual tone generation. So using a combination of two frequencies. That's the reason it is called dual tone multifrequency. Then next is about tone decoding. So on the receiving end, the DTMF receiver detects the unique tone pair and associate it with the specific digit or characters. So the uh, interpretation of the digits is done based on the pair of the frequencies used. Now, this allows the phone system to interpret the input and execute the corresponding actions like routing a call or uh, triggering an automated response. Then about the standardized features, DTMF standards uh, specifies a set of eight tone frequencies, four low and four high, that can be combined to represent the 16 possible DTMF signals for zero to nine, uh, pound or star, A to D, all of these characters. Now about the components of DTMF. So there are different components of DTMF, telephone keypad, DTMF tone generator, DTMF receiver and telephone networks. These are the different uh, components of DTMF. So in tone keypad, the 12 button uh, telephone keypad, which includes the digits zero to nine and star, pound symbol. This is the primary input mechanism for DTMF signaling. For tone generator, DTMF tone generator is a circuit within the phone that converts the keys which are pressed into the corresponding uh, dual tone signals for transmission. The dual tone multifrequency receiver, DTMF receiver, is the component of the receiving end that detects and decodes the DTMF tones, which allows the phone system to interpret the user input. Then the telephone network, including landlines and mobile network, that is responsible for transmitting the DTMF signals between the caller and the recipient. Next, about some advantages of DTMF. The main advantages of DTMF is reliability, uh, efficiency, versatility, and low cost. So uh, starting with reliability, DTMF signaling uh, that is highly reliable 
with low error rate and the ability to be transmitted accurately over various telephone networks and mediums. Uh, also about the efficiency, DTMF allows for fast and more efficient interaction with phone systems compared to the older pulse signaling or the pulse dialing methods which were used, which enables quick access to features and services, making it faster. Then versatility, uh, DTMF can be used for a wide range of applications from simple menu navigations to complex automated systems, which makes it a versatile technology for telecommunications industry. Then uh, low cost. So DTMF technology is relatively inexpensive to implement and uh, as the required hardware and software components are well established and widely available. So these are the various different advantages of DTMF. Then talking about some limitations. So limitations of DTMF can be background noise, limited vocabulary, and accessibility challenges. So uh, starting with the background noise, DTMF signal can be susceptible to interference from background noises such as music or ambient sounds, which can lead to errors in tone detection and interpretation. That can be one um, limitation due to background noises in the functions of DTMF. Then next about the limited uh, vocabulary, DTMF system is limited to the 16 available signals for 0 to 9, pound, hash, which can restrict the range of commands and options that can be provided to the users. Uh, accessibility challenges like DTMF-based systems may pose these kind of challenges for users with certain disabilities, such as those with limited uh, hearing impairments uh, who may have difficulty using the telephone keypad effectively. So these can be some limitations and are often some in, uh, limitations of DTMF. Then some common use cases of DTMF are call routing, payment processing, menu navigation, and secure access. So about call routing, DTMF is used commonly in IVR systems to route callers to appropriate departments or extensions based on their keypad input that they have provided. For payment processing, DTMF is used in automated payment systems, which allows the customers to securely enter their, for example, credit cards information or account numbers using their phone's keypad. Then uh, menu navigation. DTMF is uh, a key component in the IVR systems, interactive voice response systems, enabling the callers to navigate through automated menus and access uh, specific information or services by pressing the corresponding keys, which is the part of menu navigation. Then lastly, the secure access. So DTMF can be used for secure access to sensitive information or systems such as banking accounts or corporate networks by requiring the users to enter a specific code or a sequence of digits. So these are the common use cases of DTMF. Next about DTMF in telephony systems. So about the use of DTMF in telephony system. First is the caller input, then DTMF detection and system response. So starting with caller input, so the user presses the keys on their phone keypad, which generates the DTMF tones that are transmitted over the telephone network that is called caller input. Next is DTMF detection. The telephone system's DTMF receiver detects the uh, input and decodes the incoming DTMF tones, identifying the user's uh, inputs. Then uh, system responses, the telephone system processes the user's input and execute the action uh, such as routing uh, for that call or triggering an automated response. So these are uh, the DTMF in telephony system. Now about uh, DTMF in automated systems. So in automated systems, there are different applications like IVR, home automation, utility billing and emergency services and different uh, DTMF usages. So DTMF is used to navigate menu options, access information, and perform transactions in automated phone, uh, phone-based systems. It's just like a recap of what we discussed earlier in the use cases also. DTMF can be used to control smart home devices and appliances remotely over the phone. We can uh, use DTMF to access account information, make uh, payments, and set up automated 
uh, bill payment. So that is the utility billing. Emergency services, DTMS can be used to trigger emergency services uh, or alerts and request specific assistance from emergency response systems. So these are the different applications, IVR, home automation, uh, utility billing, emergency services, which are used for these purposes. Then lastly, the future of DTMS technology. So first is integration with emerging technology. Let's talk about that. So as technology continues to evolve, DTMS is expected to be increasingly integrated with new communication platforms like VoIP, mobile apps, cloud-based services, expanding its reach and functionality. Then uh, advancements in speech recognition is the second uh, point here in the future of DTMS technology. So the development of advanced speech recognition, uh, there are different algorithms which may eventually uh, complement or even replace DTMS in certain applications, uh, offering more natural and intuitive um, user interactions. Next, improved accessibility. So in this point, uh, future DTMF systems may incorporate features to enhance accessibility, such as visual or vibration-based feedback, making it easier for users with disabilities to interact with automated systems. So that can be an improved accessibility. Uh, last point here is increased security and privacy. So as security concerns grows, DTMF systems may evolve uh, to incorporate stronger encryption and authentication measures, ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of uh, sensitive information transmitted over the phone. So that is it about dual tone multi-frequency. Uh, I hope the video was beneficial for you and you have learned something for about DTMF here. Thank you so much for watching.